thought some if you had a trampoline growing up if you had a trampoline somebody said nope <laughs> if you had a <laughs> if you had a trampoline growing up let some fluids what let some fluids bounce around in your stomach oh what oh drink that's what they mean <laughs> Why they said it like that? <laughs> Basically, drink if you had a trampoline. Like, why did they say it like this? <laughs> like, why couldn't it just say drink? <laughs> yeah, we we out here with it. We out here. With it. So today I find out that Moon will be having another owner soon. He will be having another owner soon. And although I'm sad about losing my companion <laughs> and this lovely cat that I had for how many months has it been? I had him for over five months, almost almost six months now. And it was a good time that I spent with him. I am packing up everything and I'm leaving and he just can't come along. I had to accept that. And I didn't want him to just be thrown out to the streets, you know, like the rest of the trash is going. Um, but he's gonna be in good hands, so that makes me feel good. It's just like the transitions are transitioning and I know everything is gonna fall into place the way it should. It's just that the process of it happening right now, it looks it looks kind of like uh, terrifying. It feels terrifying. Moon, what are you doing? I'm unpacking my home. Like I'm just I'm just doing a lot. I'm doing a lot of shit. So I'll just be taking breaks in between to like really just relax my mind because it is a lot it is a lot and although i'm doing this for a good cause i'm doing this to really set myself free from the societal constraints that i have placed on myself i, I can't even say it has been placed on me i have placed this on myself by uh, choosing to stick between stick to this construct that's just not mine it was never mine. It was influenced upon me, but it was never mine. Yeah, I'm ready to give it up. I'm ready to give it all away. Um, yes, I want stability. I want all these great things, but I'm, I'm realizing that freedom matters more to me than anything. And I am gonna create my own sense of freedom as I go. Me. So yeah, I'm in the process of moving out of NYC. I'm going to stay at my mom's house for a couple of weeks when I'm after my event in South Carolina, come back, spend a little time at, in Brooklyn, and we are gonna pack up and move to Florida. We are gonna pack up and move to Florida, okay? And I'm excited about that. And who knows where else? Because Florida is not even permanent. So yeah, we are gonna see, we are gonna see, we are gonna see where I end up. Let me get back to packing. I also gotta wash my hair. Oh my gosh, my hair. I gotta wash my hair. I'm just, I'm just saying, I gotta wash my hair. The weather in NYC right now is so hot. So, I gotta wash my hair, most likely dry it out in the sun. But by the time I'm washing it, it's probably gonna be dark outside, but still, I can sit outside tonight. <laughs> Hey. 
we about to shoot a nice episode on Charlie's yes. Truth. Well, no, it's gonna be on Charlie's Truth podcast. So Char it's Charlie's, all right, all right. Love it. So it's so I came across this post podcast, but the segment of it is who we used to be. So so excited! I am so excited to be a guest. It's yes. gonna be our first lit. guest in our Aries. Okay, <laughs> here in LIC, we're going to LIC park is over there somewhere when we get over there i'm gonna shoot show you guys location because it'll be we outside y'all we outside going after those dreams and goals make sure if you That's have an I'm idea go for about. it get it started might as well just get it started give it a try what experiment do you have to lose it. what do you experiment. have to lose make an experiment that's it I and like little stuff like this like look at our, look at our oh shoes my God, that's what i did I, that's so this is what i envisioned like being random um snatches stuff oh. yeah Come on, come on with it. Hey. Hey. Look at me respecting the Culture me. That's my word on my page. Culture me is great. It's going to be a great day. See. Podcast. <laughs> yes to the whole podcast. <laughs> we were just. Listen, this has to be in a vlog for real because we was just out here. Hey, like, look at us. Like, we just having the time of our lives. We did work doing what we was called to do. Like, yes, let's bless it. And, and celebrating that and showing up regardless. Okay. And now it's transparency. Super love you, super miss you. I'm so glad that you are elevating and evolving and just glowing in this beautiful ambience of yours. Like, I love it so much. You are truly a beauty. You're a beauty to look at, you're a beauty to listen to, and you're a beauty to be inspired by. So, at the end of the day, I love you and keep being you. Gotta start bringing out these tables and shit. <sighs> Bye, big TV. <laughs> Bye, beautiful old fashioned kitchen, but I love you so much. Okay. Moon. Bye, Moon. Bye, Moony. I love you. Blessings, blessings, my good sis. First of all, I was thinking about you this morning and I just wanted to send you some well wishes. So this is the last week of September. So pretty exciting. And I know this is your last week in your apartment. And I, I can imagine maybe some emotions are coming up, maybe not, but regardless of what, I pray that you are feeling excited and curious about what's to come. I think that a lot of times in life, the reality just is we don't know what's next. And so all we can do is be open-minded to the, to the opportunity that the unknown is about to happen and be excited and curious about it. So I'm sending you the energy of just open-mindedness, the energy of love, the energy of protection, the energy of knowing that spirit got something big for you. Spirit got something amazing for you and your willingness to be open-minded, your willingness to do something different, your willingness to even give life a try and a different way than you would choose is the beginning of something great so i'm sending you so much love i'm so proud of you i'm so excited for you i'm so excited for what's next for you i'm so excited for this week for you i pray that your heart is just open that you are excited that you are hopeful that you are just journeying in an energy of possibility i'm sending you all the love i pray for just favor all over your life favor on everything 
May everything you touch just prosper in all the ways and expect it in unexpected ways, but in divine ways. I pray that you have discernment and the connections you are part of, discernment and what you're saying yes to, and that you're just giving yourself a chance at the abundance of possibilities that God has for you. So I love you. I'm so excited for you. And I pray that you just have an amazing week. But let's just start with today. May you have your best day on purpose.